her diaries are not simply a Latter-day Saint source, but an American source, a source of American women's history. The words of two prominent Latter-day Saint women have been published by the Church Historian's Press after decades of research. The diaries of Emmeline B. Wells and the discourses of Eliza R. Snow can now be found online. It's two women who are powerful and influential leaders in the early church whose impact is still felt today by not just women in the church, but women in Utah and women in the nation. The Church History Department of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints held a media event at the end of October to celebrate the completion of the projects. We don't pull out all these treasures for just anyone. So those, those of you here in the room, this, this is exciting. The women served as general presidents of the Relief Society, the church's women's organization. Each left a compelling record of her teachings and service snow in the form of discourses, and wells in the form of diaries. They lived in a world that integrated the secular with the religious, the temporal with the spiritual. Both were motivated at their core by their faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ and in the restored church of Jesus Christ. Researchers combed through hundreds of sources such as handwritten minute books, and 19th century newspapers to find and compile Snow's words. I love how she empowers women and she encourages them to speak up and speak out. And that has definitely encouraged me to do the same. This first item is what I refer to as Eliza's Trail Diary. It begins in the 1840s in Nauvoo, ends in the 1880s here in Utah, and is full a lot more of poetry actually than traditional diary entries. One of the things that she said where she really was including all the women is that if we all come together it's like putting coals of a fire together. When they're separate they can't burn and go out but when they are together they burst into flame. And that's how she saw the Relief Society. Historians and editors transcribed and annotated thousands of diary entries in the 47 volumes Wells recorded between 1844 and 1920. Historians indeed cannot ignore women in the history of the 19th century, and Emmeline Wells has given us untold riches by which to remember them and her. Both projects illustrate the Church History Department's ongoing commitment to women's history.